Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're in Etherville, 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 I think it's Etherville, Iowa, outside Bud's Cafe, Bud's Cafe, here to do their Belly Buster Breakfast Challenge. Yes, so it's essentially a great big omelet. Um, it features, I believe it is a pound of ham, a pound of bacon, a pound of sausage, and you have a pound of hash browns, 12 eggs, three pieces of Texas toast, and I think that's it. Again, it's a massive, massive omelet with toast. Um, it is a $36 meal. You do have one hour to complete it. If you do complete it, you do get the meal for free. Um, otherwise, it is $36. Um, that's all I really know about it. I'll give you some exact details, um, but it is apparently a pretty big challenge. I believe there's been four or five winners throughout the years. Um, well, there's been lots and lots of attempts, about one attempt a month, they said, and this place has been here for 20 years and has had the challenge for a good number of those. So let's head in and have someone's eats food. Wish me some luck, and let's go eat a big breakfast challenge here in Iowa. All right, so here I'm with the Belly Buster. It definitely is a very sizable, sizable plate. Um, so lots and lots and lots of cheese, sausage, bacon, ham, all the hash browns, 12 eggs. This thing is very, very, very large, and it's incredibly heavy to say the least. They did bake it to finish it off, so it is extremely hot. Um, due to time, we are gonna get started here, but it is smoking hot. It's definitely gonna be probably, I think, the most difficult thing. But like I said, just decked out with lots of cheese, lots of fillings, and we do have three really nice looking slices of Texas toast. So we will have 60 minutes, and uh, we'll get started here just momentarily. It will save the count of uh, five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Okay, here we go, everybody. A very big hot breakfast. Ooh, very, very hot, steaming. Mm. Very hot. Tastes good though. No shortage of meat and ingredients in it. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. That's the difficulty. It's baked, just absolutely steamy. Wow. I'm gonna try to eat the, eat the tops of this, let the rest of it cool down. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Bud's Cafe. Yes, Bud's Cafe, taking on the Belly Buster Challenge. So definitely a great big breakfast challenge. I guess you could call it an omelet challenge. I mean, essentially it was a 12 egg omelet with just even more, you know, hash browns, bacon, ham, etc. Um, lots of cheese, like, but yeah, we'll call it an omelet. Um, here, taking on again the omelet challenge, uh, definitely a big one. Um, I would say overall, probably weighed upwards about seven pounds. Um, the way it is plated and the way it sits on that plate is really deceiving. It was very, very heavy. It is tasty though, I'll tell you that much. It does taste good. I do like some eggs. So pretty straightforward, we're in the quest for the free meal. Um, I will say definitely a bit of difficulty getting into this challenge, I'll put it that. Um, the staff didn't seem overly excited to do the challenge and um, it was uh, like they bake it on that plate, which like I couldn't even touch the plate. It was so hot, the food was so hot. Um, it was getting, you know, we were probably about 40-ish, 45 minutes until they were closing, so um, definitely there was also a little bit of a hurry to get eating here, as you do have a one hour time limit. Um, I did ask kind of like, maybe could we put it in the fridge or could I let it cool off? And, and the answer was just no, what you get is what you get, take it or leave it. Which ultimately me and I ordered the challenge and I wanted to do it. So I'm, you know, more than willing to, I guess, accept um, what they give me. And that's kind of the thing with food challenges. You kind of have to accept what they give you. Very hot. Two and a half minutes in. Absolutely steaming. Rolling steam. I don't know if you see it or not, but. So the overall challenge had been attempted a large number of times, but only again a few um, successful people to complete it. I will mention that they expressed that they had a very, I guess, negative experience with a gentleman who came in um, to record this challenge before with a camera. So I'm not really sure if that's why I was maybe met with some hostility or you know lack of excitement. Um, but nonetheless, you know I can 
empathize and I guess, you know, if I want to rationalize um, the experience, that could be it. I basically have to take a sip of water with a Jeep bike just to make it cool enough that I actually consume. So I never took any of this personally. Um, I just hope that, you know, everybody be safe if they are to attempt this, um, as I don't want anybody to burn themselves. Um, but uh, Etherville, Etherville, where it was, very small, cute, quaint town, definitely out in the countryside. Um, but like I said here, um, the food was good. I had no complaints about that. Um, let's just say there was uh, no question about it being hot. Um, but yeah, like I said, cool little town. Um, the restaurant was pretty cool, uh, you know, decorated, kind of old timey, I guess, like almost reminds you of like a Western in a way. Um, and then they're pretty much just like a breakfast and lunch spot. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's about that. That's the majority of the info. Um, so with that, ultimately, let's tune on in. Let's see if we can complete this very large omelet, um, which again, I will just say it by no means does the camera or video do this justice um, you know it is quite 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 impressive um, in size and like I said I don't know if it varied or not but like I said appreciate it and that let's get to the rest of the video I did ask to try to like get in a, in a fridge or a freezer for a couple minutes to cool down but they said what you get is what you get so no freezer just hot omelet How are we doing over here? Good? It tastes good. Good. No shards of food though. about six minutes in. Mm. Plays hot. Get my fingers. Mm. Definitely spreading it out, help pull it down a bit. I think that's the strategy to do it. Ooh. I tell you what, I'm filling up though. This thing is very large. On the menu it says it feeds three. That's like three linebackers. Lots, lots of cheese on this thing too. It's like multi-layered of cheese on top and the middle and the bottom.
slowly but surely. Ooh. I blocked that light behind his eyes. About 10 minutes in. Ooh. It's a big breakfast. They call it the belly bus for a reason. Deceivingly large. The pictures on the wall looked much smaller. And if you made it to this point in the video, first off, thank you so much for not skipping through. Let's play a joke on the skippers by commenting down below, that was a cute puppy, or something along those lines with a puppy. I think, you know, that was a cute puppy, I, did you see that puppy, something like that. So like I said, comment down below, that was a cute puppy, and at that, let's get to the rest of the video. Still hot. Keeps the heat well, that's for sure. It's a big one. Ah, thirteen forty eight. About 15 minutes in amount of toast thighs. Ooh. This thing ain't no joke. Definitely a belly button meal. Oh boy. Ooh. Ooh. Let's try to finish this up. Tell us no wonder bread. It's really good. This is the guy from a local bakery. Ooh. It's a big one. Big. That's for sure. <laughs> nah, I don't do drugs. <sighs> that's uh, definitely, definitely not hungry. That's for sure. I'll put it that way. Whew. That done? Yeah. Perfect. All right, everybody, just finished up. I think it's about 18 minutes, maybe 50 seconds or so, or 40 seconds. Woo, I gotta say, very, very, very big breakfast omelet challenge. Lots of meats in there, loads of cheese. You're impressed with the cheese, lots of hash browns. Um, but that, we do get the meal for free, which is approval, the $36 meal. 
Um, toast is really good. The omelet was actually really, really good. I really enjoyed it. But uh, until next time, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, the next time, happy out the hungry. And of course, until next time, happy eating. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.